Every year, my siblings and I take a trip to a new city. And this one time in New Orleans, let me tell you, we brought back some amazing memories. New Orleans has some serious character, quirk, and charm. And don't mind the insanely cool vintage shopping, the gram-worthy foodie scene, and the colorful French-inspired neighborhoods. Are you ready? Let's start with the basics, where to drop my bags and fall into my bed after an epic New Orleans day. The Henry Howard Hotel is located in the historic Garden District and dates all the way back to 1867. It was originally built as a double parlor mansion by architect Henry Howard, who is our namesake. It was built for a millionaire, but since then it's been renovated into this beautiful luxury hotel. We all really want to make the Henry Howard a story experience for our guests and for our visitors and for them to feel kind of the history and to imagine what it might have been like. Every detail here is flawless. From the furniture to the custom-made wallpaper, this hotel is perfect for a weekend getaway. The staff is friendly and welcoming, and the beds, I could say wrapped in these pillows and sheets all day. But I just got here and it's time to explore. One of my favorite things to do is take a step back in time and hop on the St. Charles streetcar to get around town. You pass through all the old architecture and gorgeous oak tree-lined streets. New Orleans is probably best known for its beignets and Bourbon Street. And don't get me wrong, that's a great time. But let's take a look at the NOLA outside of the tourist scene. I'm looking for a few great meals and stories to take back to New York with me. Katie's is a neighborhood restaurant for the entire city. It's a gumbo of culture. This neighborhood establishment is still serving traditional New Orleans cuisine up to all its loyal customers. We work as a family here. It's a really close-knit restaurant. And I met my wife here. I hired her as a waitress back in the 90s, and we're living the dream today. Okay, now that I'm nice and full, it's time to work off that lunch the best way I know how. Shopping! This is my favorite part of any trip. I love finding new treasures that I can take back home with me. Every time I wear them, it reminds me of my trip and my fun memories there. This trip, I'm hitting up St. Claude Social Club for some serious hunting. This unique spot was created by two women, four women, to create an artistic space while making a statement about the city's style. Bold, colorful, eclectic, which is honestly wardrobe goals. We wanted to make a store that kind of embodied what we thought New Orleans fashion was, that is like colorful and fun. We want anyone to walk in here and find something that they can connect with. The social club aspect is a big thing in New Orleans. It's not that men are not allowed here. We just really want to celebrate women here. That's why we have this like women's parlor aspect so that women can come in and do creative things together. New Orleans is one of the best places for food. And this is coming from a current New Yorker. Right now, we're at Paladar 511. Their massive open kitchen and industrial vibe is a far cry from Bourbon Street. The San Francisco native team who opened this place wanted to highlight amazing New Orleans ingredients, but in a way that was new. And let me tell you, they nailed it. From the boozy classic cocktails to the fresh tuna crudo, this meal was fantastic. But you better leave some room for dessert because I'm checking out a special place where you can have your cake and your bourbon too. Bakery Bar is my dream spot tucked away in the Lower Garden District. Here you can sample some of New Orleans' traditional Dauberge eight layer cake, along with a delicious cocktail. Sign me up, please. Bakery Bar is the storefront of Debbie Des Dobage, which is a bakery company that's been in operation for about six years. Okay. It's a brainchild of Charlotte Yankee and her partner, Charles Mary. They were operating as a pop-up, doing different things. We needed a storefront. Charlotte had worked in bakeries, worked in bars, and she's like, working in bakeries is not great. Let's open a bar. So we have a bakery bar. Uh, Dobage, Dauberge, Dobash. You see it happen your grandma says. Several thin layers of cake with any sort of icing between the layers, it's pudding. Um, so you stack up the layers and then a poured fondant icing on the outside and you get to batch. The best part of the New Orleans nightlife is that every night is a party. You can't come here without a walk down Frenchman Street. On weeknights, you can pop by the art market and see what local artists are creating in this inspiring city. Take a picture in front of the old historic walks and catch a jazz band playing late into the night. Now this party is just getting started, but don't take it from me, you gotta explore this place for yourself. From the people, to the food, to the art, and to the music, New Orleans is a city you can't just visit once.